Hello and welcome to the Chef Billy Show. What I'm going to do today is make the great American favorite hamburger. As you can see, I've already made the patties. Put them on now. Oh, doesn't that smell good? Another one like a bunch of fat, dead cow meat fried. Anyway, we'll put these on at 325 degrees Fahrenheit or electric temperature, however you want to look at it. We need to first of all throw this damn old stuff away. It's kind of red and bloody. Then wash your hands if you want to. You don't have to. Let them fry out just a little while. Oh, possibly seven and a half minutes per side. You ever notice how hard it is to get that greasy feeling off of your hands after you mashed hamburgers with them? I've noticed if you use a little vinegar, it'll take that slippery feeling feeling right off. That's why I put on this bloody mess. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Kind of spread it on the cabinet is what you're really doing. And then take a dry paper towel, wipe up the rest of it. That'll kind of give it a better feeling anyway. The one, one utensil you will need, kind of this Here it is. is a egg turner spatula, whatever you want to call it. I'm kind of moving around a little bit to make sure they're not sticking. They stick to them burn. And there's nothing wrong with them burning if you like them well done. But a lot of people like theirs, you know, rare, medium. So let's just try to keep them moving. Now I'm going to preheat the oven. Now this is another one of my special recipes. It's called golden crinkles. You know, you're asking yourself, what is a golden crinkle? Well, it's a potato. What I've done, I, I sliced up these potatoes. Let me get one of them. I'll make these little crinkles. I don't know if you can see them or not. Probably not, but they've got little crinkles in them. Then I put them in the freezer and froze them. Now all you have to do is put them in a pan, preheat your oven to all, let's just say, 450 degrees Fahrenheit, and you cook them for 18 to 22 minutes, depending on your altitude. And where we're at, we probably need to cook them 21.3 seconds. We'll try that anyway. Now yeah, these burgers are coming right on. But now don't forget, and this is very important, keep them moving around a little bit, even before you turn them. Do not want them to stick. Yeah, they're full of you to smell it. I know you can't smell it through that TV can, but they are beautiful. Well, let's take a break and go visit with one of our sponsors. He began as a lowly shoe salesman. Please, somebody shoot me. But tonight, he'll become Al, the Godfather Bundy. Don't you think you're carrying this thing a little too far? Never ask me about my business, man. It's a comedy you can't refuse. An all-new Married with Children tonight. Okay, fans, I would like for you to meet Charlie Wheeler. He's a very good friend of ours, and he's a hamburger expert. He's trying to figure out what that damn utensil's for. Now, Charlie, take it, pick it up again. No, the other one. The other one. Now, pick that utensil up and turn those frying hamburgers over. Just slide it under. Yeah, there you go. There. Yeah. Oh, turn it up. Ooh, close, close. There you go. Now, mash on it a little bit. Yeah, get all that blood and guts out of there. Okay, now do the other one. Look at him go, sports fans. Oh, it's a backward flip. My God, he does know his hamburgers. Here. Oh, my goodness. Did you see a forward spin on it? Forward spin. Stand up. Oh, I'm glad we had him over. Look at the guest DJ here. Oh, he's a good cook, good cook, good cook. Oh, 
hooves. There what that word hooves. What did that mean, Charlie? Explain the word hooves. Good day, my surgeon. It broke in half. The man's dead. The hamburger's dead. It won't make it to the burger or to the bun, I mean. Look at him. Look at him. Oh, he's got grease popping everywhere. That's a sign of a good hamburger. <laughs> oh, no, we don't do that. We don't wipe grease on there. I got That's life. That's life. That's what all the people say. 